Hi, this video shows how to create a file dialog uh, with multi-selection multi in WPF. So first we start um, from, the, from the root, we start a new project. New project and we are in Visual Studio Community Edition in 2016, 2016. WPF and we go to now to my test area <coughs> and I say WPF test um, file dialog so this is a new project then we need a button First, this is our. Uh, no, come on. This is our main window, and then we need a button. We need a, a button, maybe this one here, and we need um, text box. In here okay and now this is our button and the button is called has its name button start or button open we say open dialog to this dialog and the text box is uh, text box files file strings for example and without a string in there when it starts and now we say okay we need a click event and on the click event we want that this is created and now we go to the to the code and for using now when we are here in our <coughs> button open dialog uh, we have to use the using uh, system dial 32 something with 32 win 32 uh, I have to look it up let's take the entire stuff Once I don't know. <coughs> we need we Microsoft Windows. Now I do it for this one. I say okay, this is Microsoft Windows thirty two file dialog. And inside there we say okay now <coughs> we need a file dialog let's say uh, dialog no it's not a file dialog it's a open file dialog let's take the full full stuff it's not necessary to and you find the code in my subsite. <coughs> so what we have here is it's open file dialog and we have here file dialog. Please give me the name new this is my object which will be created at runtime. And then we say create a new open file dialog. And then we say multi selection is true and the filter is always said okay this is the leading text and this is the extension leading text and extension leading text and extension and we stop that with a semicolon then we say okay start with a lock extension and then we say we need uh, open this show this dialog and if the dialog exists then the uh, the result will be uh, okay or not so if it's okay then we come to the <coughs> to the uh, the inner stuff and inside there we have for each file dialog dot file names 
this is uh, these are the file names which are selected um, create me for e run for each string variable uh, give me an entire string and when this one is uh, finished then uh, write it into the, de the text box so let's see if it runs so when we open that then we will go to in this case it's uh, for log files <coughs> I say okay go to my desktop there's a logging block and I want to write a uh, logging uh, logging tool so we have here <coughs> two files when I select those files then we have a big block there and this is what the entire block which was uh, written there and now <coughs> let's do this again we have here uh, log files and text files when I open this one and and when I attach there <coughs> for example my uh, text files there's one text file in there so I will it will select to the to the other point so this is here this filters and the filter is open to start beginning with the log f log block so this is the first one which uh, was started that's the default and that's the second one and what happens if we do nothing if we close it and I press escape then nothing happens so this is because uh, we said dialog a nullable uh, bool and only if if something is there then we should do something so I hope could I hope I could help you with this point and uh, the stuff will be written in my code uh, I will attach the code here on my code docucom and you, you may download the code from there